okay one more point now let's move on uh one more point i want to add you ask you now this might be a little different from what if especially for people who have been into sales for some time this might be a little different from what uh, has been taught but just share me out have an open mind in order to get the sale should you focus on the customer's needs or should you focus on the customer's wants wants their needs customer wants, wants. Customer Anybody else? Anyone else? Wants, wants. Customer wants. Customer wants. Wants. Need or wants? Again, wants. Okay, wants. right. Now, first, let me ask you. And you're right. You, you. Uh, I'll, I'll get to this because typically, what is said is that we should focus on the customer's needs. Everybody talks about needs, but I'm going to tell you that uh, you have to go beyond that. So, first of all, what is the difference between a need and a want? So what is the difference? I'll, I'll put it in the perspective of what we are doing right now. So mm. a customer might need an ERP, but they want a convenience. Mm. Every need is not one. But sometimes customer doesn't know what he wants. What he, he, need. he might not know what he needs, but he wants also. No? But customer, because needs is direct and indirect needs are also there. No? Need can be covered or uncovered, but when it comes to want, it will be crystal clear. At, uh, at the point of level when customer wanted something, we have a high scope of selling that particular thing or the gap analysis can be fulfilled. But when it comes to need, it will be certain or uncertain. So sometimes we have to uncover the need. What is the difference uh, between a need, need and a want? What is the difference? See, okay, need, so need has need is always there, but want is something that the customer. If the want is there, then the customer is ready to pay and he is ready to take a decision right away. Right, right. Okay. Need is always there, always required something in the future, hmm, hmm. and once is there, is is already they can mindset and yes, we require, we want this. Hmm. See, need is the basic necessity, and the want would be the value addition to the needs. But sometimes the need and want might be different. Okay, so I, I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, can I answer? Yeah, yeah, can I answer? Yeah, yeah. Answer? yeah. Uh, customer need an ERP, but which company he wants? Like, uh, uh, for example, ERP. So, uh, like, they can start with two rupees, five rupees, ten rupees, but they want a brand name. This could be partly true, but not exactly because they they need an ERP, but they want convenience. I think the person who said the convenience, prestige, all these issues. Anyway, let let me again. Uh, Arubhav, uh, Arubhav, uh, uh, one more thing I would like to add uh, as per my experience. So need is uh, you know if you convert the need into a want, the customer is tend to take the decision right away, and he is ready to uh, he's ready to invest. For that particular want because need become want means want is something he cannot move ahead with that so we have to convert that need into a want okay okay so th there are little some diverging views on this but anyway let's keep an open mind and for people who might feel this is a little you know uh, simple i mean we are just trying to do refresh uh, refreshing kind of thing here so anyway what is the difference between a need and a want uh a need is something that the customer really requires. A want is something that the customer really desires. Do you agree? Yes. Yes. A need is something that the customer actually requires. A want is something that the customer really what desires. Right. Now let me ask you: In which situation is a sale more likely? You focus on the customer's need, but the customer doesn't want the, what they need. Or you focus on the wants, but the customer doesn't really need what they want. In which situation is the is the sale more likely? Obviously, the, the uh, when when he desires it. Yes. Which which situation? You focus first, on the first one. option or second option? Second option. Second option. Second, second option. option. Second option. You focus on the customer's need, but the customer doesn't need want what they really need you, they might actually need it they might need it but they want don't want it but you focus on the wants and they might not need it but they still buy it because they want it so let me ask you can you sell a gym membership to a fat person who needs it 
but doesn't want it can you do that can you sell a gym membership to a fat person who needs it but doesn't want it well in that case we have to change their need into want right so so it's about wants ultimately you have to focus on the wants you cannot sell a gym membership to a fat person who needs it but they don't want it but you can sell him his favorite fast food which he doesn't need he doesn't need fast food but he wants it the fat person doesn't need fast food but he wants it we're talking about a fat person who has no desire to change we're talking about that person you can make recommendations based on what they need but ultimately you only sell something they want remember this you can always make recommendations i am not saying that you should not make recommendations definitely make recommendations that's your job as a sales person you have to make recommendations but ultimately the only thing that sells is something that they want the only time you can make a sale focusing on needs is when the need is a want do you agree the only time you can make a sale focusing only on needs is when the need becomes a want as well do you agree yes yes is it, but but i just want to like uh, put a comment on the picture you showed this um, one this one before the other before, that, before before that this one before that the fat person yeah this one this one i mean if i like uh, convince him i can uh, sell him 12 months of gym membership but like if i go to only pepsi and then that i can give for one month or two months only but there my sales will be big no let me explain see first of all even when you are convincing him you are only convincing him when you convert that need into a want because convincing means what convincing means that you have converted the need into a want right that is only convincing means what yes. convincing means that you have translated that need into a want if the need is not a want that means you have not convinced him right mm -hmm. number 1 number 2 do you think the person only buy a cola or pepsi only one time they buy it every day <laughs> obviously but like my sales target will be completed uh, if i give a gym tab oh, gym membership for 12 month my sales target is completed means <laughs> i just putting i just putting in a perspective oh, that's my perspective no you are right you are right but my point is that even if you do that you have to convert the need into a want ha ah, obviously that is that is there that is there accept hmm, hmm. so only when the person is ready from see that is why i'll tell you what most people see if you want to open a gym na open the gym on on uh, on january 1 in january open the gym and shut it down by february because most of the most of the money you will make will be in january itself yes, yes. because of new year resolution yes, yes, yes. i mean that that is the truth so people are even people who have these new year resolutions or want to make a change see some people want to make a sustain change that's okay that's fine but uh, many times when the when does the need actually become a want when the person has a new year resolution number one or when the desire for change comes for him from from himself when he sees that okay my health is deteriorating or when he sees that others are not uh, not treating him the right way or when he feels the need for change is now here when that need for change becomes a want then you sell him easily then aapko jaake convince nahi karna padta you will see the people who who stay in the gym for the longest for 12 months are people who are already fit would you agree yes. people who are already practicing a fit lifestyle you don't have to convince them they'll easily buy your gym membership do you agree yes 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 because they are and they will work out for 12 months also because they are already practicing for them the need is already a want you don't have to do any convincing because it's already a want so i'm not saying don't focus on needs you have to focus on needs also but if you have to get a sale the easier prospects the easier way to convert the sale is when you focus on the wants so instead of 
ट्राइंग वेरी हार्ड टू फाइंड ओवरवेट पीपल इन द लोकेलिटी एंड कन्विंसिंग देम की आ जाओ जिम ज्वाइन करो इट्स बेटर दैट यू कॉन्टैक्ट पीपल हो ऑलरेडी एक्सरसाइजिंग दे आर गोइंग टू कम टू योर जिम एंड दे आर गोइंग टू पे फॉर यू एंड दे आर गोइंग टू पे की पेंग यू डू यू अग्री मोस्टली फॉर द मोस्ट पार्ट फॉर द मोस्ट पार्ट एनी वे सो only time you can make a sale focusing on needs is when the need becomes a want as well uh the stronger the wants the more likely the customer will be inclined to buy the stronger the wants the more likely the customer will be inclined to buy this is one case where the where the uh where the needs and the wants are kind of aligned because buying something is the lady's want but buying something is that person's need because he had he has to make his wife happy i mean need and wants here are aligned because it might be the lady's wants who 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 looks happier here who looks happier in this picture the lady the lady because wife. the wife looks happier because it's her want and the person is buying yes, because good. because it's his need we have to make his wife happy so i mean this kind of Only semi happy. Anyway, explain the formalities. So, sell to deep rooted wants, not just need. Sell to deep rooted wants, not just needs. I am not saying don't focus on the needs. Anyway, to develop a product for the future, to develop something in the future, to you know, to get a long term kind of a thing, needs are important. But the sale happens more easily when you focus more on the wants. Sell to deep rooted wants, not just needs. You have to write the strong. i have a question is it something uh, now there is a need and we have to convert want but rather we are actually looking for what want is it our uh, a duty to actually convert this need to want am i right or not see here's the thing if we take a extremely ethic if we take an extremely kind of a uh, approach where we think that it is our duty to convert the need into want you can do that but like i said it is like trying to convince that fat person who sitting in the in his house to drag him out and trying to convince him ki nahi nahi bhai aapko you have to join the gym it is like to so maybe you could say it is your duty to get overpaid people and make them fit but how hard will it be to make a sale this way are you understanding my point i got it but uh, our duty actually to make them visualize for their future itself for otherwise what happen if i keep on trying on this uh, fit people i have to look out my business as well because my funnel always has to be grown it has to be grown right so for that particular purpose i have to look into both aspects especially and i have to my main job should be to convert this need to want only because always like i said okay i'll tell you again let me again be more specific what you are saying is absolutely right your if you want to broaden your focus Yes, you need to get the overweight people into the gym. Not why? No, why only the overweight people? You have to get the average people into the gym also, right? Exactly. Right. But but if we are talking about if we are talking about getting the converting easily, if we have if we are short on time, if you are short on time, what you have see sales is all about priority. So you have to first go after the prospect that converts easily, right? Do you agree? Right. right right agree so sales is all about priorities once you've converted most of the prospects who've converted easily then you go after the other categories are you understanding my point i or, got it, or, but uh, only my my uh, only my question like this that we have to focus on both actually then only our funnel will be stable otherwise what happen uh, i i don't think that our funnel will be stable in that case i think we have to focus both actually okay i'll give you an example again let's say you are approaching somebody maybe you can approach them but when you okay uh ab gym ke example se so let's let's uh, let's use a gym example if you trying to convince the overweight or average people also now that needs convincing that needs convincing convincing ka matlab hai sales cycle will be longer do you agree right so maybe they will be converted maybe one month after two months three months four months six months one year who knows they might be converted but the sale cycle will be longer unless right. it's an overweight person who is now ready to change that that person will walk in the gym oh, and sure. they'll buy your membership right right so what you can do is you can take two approaches one approach is you focus on the the people who want to uh, do sign up the gym people who are already fit people who, who are already having all these protein shakes and all these things they are going to be your highest converting prospects 
secondly you can also keep people who are overweight or people who are uh, uh, maybe not your immediate prospects you can keep them on some kind of a prospecting list and you can keep following up with them you can keep marketing through them in the hope that eventually they'll be convinced but you cannot focus all your efforts on them initially is that right yeah that's completely agree that's what okay. i uh, my point is also that like that only okay. when we focus and we have to focus both and because one is that short term and second one is long term actually right right so so one one thing nahi, so so even the people who are fit they can get into long term contracts that's fine but the point is they'll be converted very easily you can you can focus your your active sales efforts, uh, efforts on that and then you can also market to other people in the list through whatsapp or through content i will will cover that in the future uh, just to make sure that maybe they don't have a need now but maybe they might have a need six months into the future but you have to keep these things two things separate yeah because what i believe actually that everyone having wants but sometimes they don't understand that want mm. need is everywhere but want actually we have to show we have to actually they may not be themselves not knowing because if you just go to a doctor i'm just going over there and uh, the moment i sit over there i'm comfortable they say that okay you don't have any problem but there's a chance that you may die in next one month in you may require one operation or you may have to take this medication and they're actually putting a point over there and we'll start that medication as well because they are actually be there creating a want over there exactly so it's all about creating a want you might think you may don't need it but because the doctor scares you so now it's a want right? because in the erp industry itself i can say that very clearly when we started this thing everyone recurring this particular erp but nobody had this want but through our efforts one by one educating them making them visualize how their future will be now they are actually converting right everyone. so that's my that's my point again see again coming back to your thing but coming back to your uh, example let's say when you are approaching somebody initially you will approach people who are who are more open to this people who have the budget for this people who are already spending on similar things because they will be easier conversions but in the same time you will also keep other schools other things in the long term prospecting list and slowly because see even when they adopted it this, this did not happen over a month this happened over years right right this adoption this happened over years it's not actually every time yes sometimes what happen up the moment they understand this is my want then the decision decision also will be very fast now suppose if you take out this gym if i'm just going as a sales person i'll make him understand what is going to happen within one month to him either a cardiac arrest or some other things if he understood his the value of his life i'm sure that he'll getting into this gym as well that's what my point agreed agreed but ultimately that's my point ultimately you are still convincing him that it is want you are convincing it that it's a want i mean you basically making his need a want right exactly that's my point right right okay fine 